Peggy 18. We're in New York today for New York Comic Con. We're going to be revealing for the very first time uh, Sleeping Dog's brand new story mission, Add On Pack, which I can reveal the name to you now is Nightmare in North Point. We've really tried to do something a little bit off the wall that's still very much in sync with uh, the game's Hong Kong cinema roots. We're really proud to be able to show this to uh, the community for the first time today. We've been amazing fans of the game, so we want to show our, our uh, love and appreciation as well. And the uh, first one's actually called Nightmare in North Point, and that's coming out October 30th. The gates are still open! What were your first impressions of the game as a game when you first saw it? I certainly wanted to play it, which is a huge sort of benchmark for me. We see so much stuff, and you know, not everything we see is great, but we saw this and we were kind of you know, we didn't have to squint much to realize that this could be an absolutely huge, awesome game. And when you couple that with the development team that are working on it, I mean, they've got some really, really talented guys at UFG. When United Front Games was starting to get formed, we came together, brought along other great people that we knew, and there was immediate chemistry because we'd worked together and we knew we gelled, which was really important. We did a lot of research. We uh, threw around a lot of different ideas and uh, some of them pretty wacky. And then uh, we uh, basically, Within a couple weeks, landed on the concept of the undercover cop. Uh, we knew that that was a very, uh, it was a very strong theme in Hong Kong cinema. And um, then, basically, we knew that we had to go in and make uh, very engaging characters. So we knew that we had to do our research, really understand what these crimes are all about, really understand Hong Kong as a place, and then make Wei Shan a product of his environment. In Sleeping Dogs, we see Hong Kong as like a really important character in the game, and I think it's something that's added a lot of exoticness and a lot of color. The actors themselves really clicked, you know, they really got along well. Um, and I think it comes through in the, in the performance. I have a counter offer from Mr. Lee. I'd appreciate if you relay this back to him word for word. Can you do that? So, does anyone have any questions? I wanted to inquire about what could have made the game I feel more badass was if they, they allowed you to choose whether you wanted to become the head of the triad. We did actually have a lot of discussions about that and about the ending, and I think what it really sort of came down to at the end was there was a very sort of specific story that we wanted to tell about what Wei had gone through emotionally and physically, um, you know, with betrayals and, and losing, you know, people he really cared about. And so we, with limited, you know, time and, and uh, having to wrap the game up as well, felt like we, we wanted to tell that very specific ending, but. It is a great point. Some people wanted to see more dating in the game, hmm. and we actually yes. had yeah. quite a bit more dating yeah. planned. Uh, you know, we had like Lucy Liu and Emma Stone in yeah. the studio. We recorded a lot, but it was one of those things, like you said, when we were prioritizing and said, well, with everything else that Wei is dealing with in his life, is him going out and going on a bunch of kind of fun dates really that important? It doesn't yeah. further the story. We kind of de-emphasized that and really scaled that down quite a bit. I'm not supposed to eat pork, but I really want to know what pork buns taste like. <laughs> <laughs> sort of like this soft, slightly sweet doughy. sort of bread, yeah, doughy with in the center some pork and sort of this like red barbecue-ish sort of sweet sauce yeah, as well. Yeah. I don't think any of us realized the pork bun guy was going to become <laughs> no. quite the phenomenon. I think when uh, someone forwarded us internally that he actually had his own Facebook page and had like thousands and thousands of followers and likes, we were absolutely floored. I definitely feel like I got some insight on how the developers uh, began to develop the game and how they wrote the thought process about them, you know, adding different DLC and how they wanted to incorporate different parts of Asian cinema. When you play a game and you get to meet the people who have participated in creating this game, it not only is it inspirational, it's completely informative and it's just an awesome way to connect. My favorite part of Sleeping Dogs has to be the wedding scene with Winston. All of the fighting. Walking around listening to the pork bun guy. When I had to go into the gangster's house and destroy his feng shui furniture. The choreography of all the fighting is so smooth and so completely seamless that as a martial artist myself, when you watch this and when you perform these commands, it is so completely seamless that it's natural and it's beautiful. I love the trailer for the new DLC. It looks very exciting and very 
uh, just really cool. It's great to see this new DLC and the game being supported too. And I'm really happy that they went at such great lengths to uh, incorporate so much Chinese lore into it and not just do an easy zombie DLC. I am super excited because it's Chinese vampires and those things scare the living crap out of me. I think it's going to be something that fits well into the world and that we can look forward to.